Kippy Stroud's reputation as a patron and champion of modern and contemporary art and artists is eloquently reflected in her intelligent and discerning collection. Over the course of her prodigious career, she steadily assembled an art collection of great quality, depth, and breadth. Kippy's contemporary collection included some of the most daring artists, Franz West, Matthew Barney, and Nick Cave, to name a few. Kippy also collected the important artistic predecessors to so many of these contemporary artists, perhaps most notably Georgia O'Keeffe. From her important early abstraction to a classic southwestern landscape, her selection of works by the artist speaks to her intellectual curiosity, a dynamic and thoughtful assemblage of some of O'Keeffe's best work. In May 1916, at Alfred Stieglitz's 291 Gallery, Georgia O'Keeffe made her professional debut with a series of abstract charcoal drawings that were pioneering examples of American modernism. That same year, O'Keeffe produced a group of watercolors composed of simple, bold colors, including Blue One, the spiraling form seen in one of its first appearances in her work in Blue One would be significantly repeated throughout her career in a range of media, including pastel, oil, and sculpture. Blue One is an example of O'Keeffe working with color in striking vitality at a pivotal point in her career. Georgia O'Keeffe first visited New Mexico in 1929 and was immediately drawn to the vast beauty and rich color of the distinct hills and mesas. Painted in 1936, Red Hills with Pedernal White Clouds depicts Cerro Pedernal, which is a mountain located nearly five miles west of O'Keeffe's Ghost Ranch home. The mountain was a source of constant fascination for the artist, and the distinctive mesa was an oft-used motif. She spiritedly expressed her love of this natural landmark when she declared, It's my private mountain. It belongs to me. God told me if I painted it enough, I could have it. Kippy Stroud made an indelible mark on the cultural landscape, first in Philadelphia at Prince and Progress, then at the Fabric Workshop and Museum, which she founded in 1977, and has worked with over 450 artists in its residency program. Her Acadia Summer Arts Program, known affectionately as Camp Kippy on Mount Desert Island in Maine, served as a summer sanctuary and meeting place for hundreds of artists, curators, and museum directors. Kippy's role as a creative pioneer is reflected in her collection and informed her passion for O'Keeffe's work in particular. As Deborah Balkin noted of Kippy, as a woman, her own sensibility was attuned to the artist's singularity and unconventional approach to both form and to life. <laughs>